Hello everyone, this is Yamin and welcome to Eptech Knowledge. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can make a simple calculator using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. So here you can see we have a calculator over here and we can do any kind of addition or subtraction or, or division or multiplication over here. So here you can see we can do anything. So if I now just click over here, let's just give it random number over here. And if I click over here DE, it will just remove on number from here. And if I click AC over here, it will clear all the number from here. So basically we can do any kind of subtraction or addition or division over here. So I'm going to show you everything step by step from the very beginning. So I already just created a folder over here called calculator and inside this calculator folder we have index.html and style and I also open this using sublime text over here you can see index.html and style.css so here in the index.html over here you can see the title and here i already link the style.css to this index.html so here first of all let me just open this index.html in the browser so here i'll just click on this index file and here you can see our browser is empty right now there is nothing but here you can see the title calculator which we just write over here title calculator so here first of all let's color the body so in order to color the body we'll just directly go to the style.css and here first of all let's just keep a star sign over here and with our here margin it will be 0px and padding will be 0px so after this we'll just mention the body tag over here then we'll give to second bracket and with our here background color hash c3 e a double f save this and right now if we just refresh over here here we can see of the background color so first of all let's go back to our code and we'll go to index.html and inside this body tag we'll mention a div then in this div we'll mention a class over here class will be container container and then inside this div class container we'll have another div and then inside this div we're going to say over here class will be calculator then first of all inside this div class calculator let's have a input field so let's just mention another div and in this div we'll have a input field so input type will be text and here in the name we'll say over here display so right now if we save this then if we now refresh here here you can see we have the input field so let's go back to our code so here after this div let's add some button so let's mention another div over here and here we'll say input type it will be button and here instead of name we are going to say over here value it will be a and c then let me just copy this and i will paste it three times on two and three so here after a c we saw our here d e then we'll give our here dot and here we'll say slash so right now let's save this again Let's refresh here and here you can see we have some button over here. So right now we want them in the middle. So we'll write some CSS right now. So here you can see D plus container. So we'll, we are going to write some CSS for this D plus container. So let's go to style.css and here we'll show our here dot container. Then we'll give to second bracket. We'll say here first height will be 100 VH. Then we'll say here display it will be flex. After this we'll say here item align align items it will be center and we'll also say over here justify content it will be center so right now if we save then if we now refresh here here you can see everything is in the center so right now let's go and uh, design the button over here first so let's go back and here you can see that we have a deep class calculator over here so let's go back to our style.css and here we're going to say dot calculator We'll give to second bracket and here in this calculator class we'll first mention the background color so background color will be hash 032436 so right now if we save this then if we now refresh here here you can see we have a background color over here so right now let's go add some padding so here we are going to say over here padding it will be 20 px and we'll also say over here border radius border radius it will be 10 px border radius will make our border round shape save then refresh here and here you can see 
So right now first let's change the button design over here. So for it what we'll do is that first of all here you can see our button input type button is inside the class calculator. So here we we'll saw our here dot calculator then we we'll saw our here input then we'll give to second bracket over here. So here first we'll mention the border height and width. Let's say height will be 55px then width it will be 60px and then we'll also make the background round shape so we saw our here border radius it will be 10px and after this let's also add margin margin will be 10px so right now if we set this then if we now refresh over here here you can see it looks like this so right now what we'll do is that when we take our cursor over here it will show as a hand sign so what we'll do is that we saw our here cursor it will be pointer and let's also make the background transparent then let's also set the text font size will be uh, 20px and text color will be white so we say here color white so save this then refresh here again and there you can see it looks better right now so right now let's go and have some more button over here like 7 8 9 10 and some multiplication and plus sign so here let's go to index.html and here we'll just copy this diff from here ctrl c and we'll paste it over here three times on two and three so here uh, over here we'll first say over here seven then this on value will be eight and here this on value will be nine and here we'll give this multiplication sign so after this this one will be four then this one will be five and this one will be six and here we'll give the minus sign after this here we're going to say one then two and then three and here we'll give the addition sign okay let's have another div over here and here for this div we'll give over here first sentence then here we'll say double zero here we'll say zero and here we'll give the equal sign save this then let's just refresh here and here you can see this is now looks like a calculator and here you can see the input field look like this so let's change the input field design so let's go back to our code again so first of all here you can see that we have this div inside this div we have input type text name equal to display so here inside this div we are going to mention a class over here let's say class name will be display then we'll go to style.css and here we are going to say dot display then we'll give to second bracket so here first we'll say over here display will be flex then we'll say over here justify content it will be flex int and after this we'll say over here margin it will be 20px and 0px save this again and let's refresh here and here you can see this right now on the right side now let's make the input field bigger and transparent so let's go back and here you can see that inside this class display we have the input field so what we'll do is that we we'll saw our here dot display we we'll saw our here input then we'll give to second bracket and first of all we we'll saw our here flex it will be on on means if i just save this and if we refresh it it will take the whole width let me just refresh over here and you can see it took the whole width so right now if i write anything it will start from the left side so what we want is that we want to show the text on the right side so for it we'll show over here uh, here in this display input we'll show over here text align it will be right then we'll show over here font size will be 40px then let's also show over here border for the text field will be none and outline will be none save again then refresh here and here you can see and we can basically type the number over here okay so right now what we want is that when you click on the button the number will show over here so for it what we'll do is that here we have the input field inside the div so first of all let's write some javascript code for this button so here you can see value equal to 7 so we saw over here on click on click is a javascript function and here we'll show our here display dot value equal to we'll give to single quotation and inside the single quotation we'll show over here seven so what will happen is that whenever someone click on this button seven it will send this value seven to this 
display and this display is basically this one okay so right now if we save then if we now refresh here and if we now click seven okay it's not showing anything so let me just check display and display okay i just miss one thing that is here we need to keep this input type text input type button everything in the form so that's why it's not working so before this div class display we'll mention a form over here this form will start from here and the form will end over here okay so we we'll saw over here form ending over here so make sure to give the form before the display okay so right now let's save this and let's just refresh here and if we now click seven here we can see seven but if i click seven multiple times it is not adding any more seven over here so for it what we need to do is that we just need to give a plus sign after the value if we just keep over here plus seven then save it then refresh here and if i now click seven multiple time it is giving me multiple seven so let's do this for the other button as well so let's go back and here let me just copy this on click display from here and i'll paste it for every other button over here so let me just select every button from here this on this on this on and also them so after this i'll just give a space then i'll paste the on click display so here uh, this is value 8 so we'll saw what here 8 then this will be 9 and here we'll give this star sign or mul multiplication sign and here value will be 4 then 5 and then 6 and this will be the minus sign and here inside the value we'll say 1 then 2 and here 3 then this will be the plus after this we need to give the percentage over here and here value will be double zero here value will be single zero and the value okay for this equal sign uh, we will not have the on click function over here okay so let's just keep the equal sign empty so let's save then let's now refresh here and if i now click the button here you can see everything is working over here properly so right now let's go and do this part so here if we click the d button it will remove a single number from here and if we click the ac button it will clear the input field so let's go back and here for this ac we'll show here display dot hello it will be null empty and for this input type dot it will be dot over here and here it will be slash or the division sign so here for for this ac we do, we do not need to give this plus sign over here so we'll just say over here equal sign let's save this and if we now refresh here and if we now write any number and now click ac here you can see it become empty so let's do that d part so here for this de what we will do is that we saw over here display dot hello but we'll just remove this value 7 and we saw over here display dot value equal display dot value then we saw over here dot to string we'll give to first bracket then we saw over here dot slice then to first bracket again and we saw over here 0 comma minus on it means it will remove the last number so let's save this and let's refresh here again and if i now click any number over here here you can see 8 and if i now click de it remove the last number if i click again it remove the last number and if i click ac it will remove everything so right now let's do the equal part okay if i now click 3 plus 3 then click the equal sign it will show us the total number over here so for it all you have to do is that we need to call a function called eval in this input type button equal okay so here we are just going to show our here on click equal to we say display dot value then we'll give equal sign and we saw our here eval then to first bracket eval is a javascript function 
to do the calculation so here in this eval we saw here display dot value so what it will do is that it will show us the calculation in the display basically in this in this uh, input type text okay so this is what you need to write so let's save this and let's just refresh over here and if i now click 3 plus 3 then click equal sign here you can see it is giving us 6 and if i we we can also do the multiplication over division over here and let's do the multiplication so basically we can do anything so let's check the past sentence over here okay so everything is working properly so this is how we can make a simple calculator using html css and javascript i hope this tutorial was useful to you if you have any question or any problem you can always let me know in the comment section and if you want more tutorial like this then make sure to subscribe so thanks again for watching i hope to see you in the future tutorials